Hi, Dennis Sweet, Seagull Communications. Welcome to our town. We're at the Community Foundation of Dickinson County on the corner of 3rd and Mulberry, the mm -hmm. old Astor Bank, for those of you who've been around town a while. Elizabeth Weiss, Executive Director, good afternoon. Good afternoon, and thank you for allowing me this time to be on air. We're tickle pink. The, uh, I have my cowboy outfit Yes, on. you do. Two reasons, maybe three. Okay. I thought of another one. So, <laughs> sure you did. Uh, one, I like it. I know. Two... <laughs> I had to have something to make be consistent on 2019 Abilene groups doing great mm -hmm. things, big yes, year. Yes, so it is. I'm trying to wear this in all the interviews. Well, that's terrific. And the third reason. Mm -hmm. So, well, cowboy, I, the yes. queen of the cow towns, yes, Abilene. Abilene, Kansas. Absolutely. And, and I could not talk Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum into loaning me an authentic uniform and an M1 <laughs> Garand, because that'd be the other thing I could wear to all of them, right? Yes. So with that being out, I had to go back to cowboy. Okay, well, I'm glad you did. Yeah. So the Community Foundation, yes. a long-serving institution yes. here, yes. that indeed, in the theme of all these interviews, 2019 is going to be a huge year. You have some new things coming, we and do. we're right on the door of a of one I wanted you to tell us about. Sure, and you know, 2019 is also the beginning of the Community Foundation of Dickinson County's 20th year. Um, so to kick off our 20th year, we are having our first match day that we are calling Donate Dickinson County Day. And what this is, is organizations that have endowed funds, endowed designated funds with us, on that day, anybody that donates to those organizations, the Community Foundation is going to match dollar for dollar up to $10,000 per organization. And it's a way for these nonprofits that are in Dickinson County to truly grow their endowed fund exponentially in one day. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity that we as the Community Foundation are offering um, to these nonprofits. We've done a, a lot of work, quite frankly, on the back end securing these funds. And, and thank you to those donors that partnered with us um, to, to give us the funds to, to have this match day. And we are, we are all set. We are so excited. Um, and we have been, the, I, I believe, the nonprofits that are, are participating, they are so excited. Um, it's, it's a win-win for everybody. So I know you've had a personal passion for other organizations yes. in town. Yes. And when you came here, mm -hmm. uh, you brought that with you. I did. This day is really focused on making a big improvement in the funding mechanism yes. for those groups with a match day. Right. I think most people know match days are, but I, I think, I don't know that you said this, so I'm gonna ask you a specific question. Okay. So uh, you you gathered up $100,000 for this match day, and, and specifically, so you're not taking this out of other funds at the Community Foundation. I agree not. These, this is new money mm -hmm. aimed at doing this job. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And um, again, to be able to, um, have have Dickinson County rally around these uh, nonprofits and for the community foundation to be able to partner with these donors and to, to be able to offer this it, it truly is uh, an amazing opportunity for these nonprofits in Dickinson County to be to be a part of this you know it's not it's not something new obviously um, Salina has been doing it for years and and Manhattan has been doing it for a long time and um, we we just as I came on new to this role and, and going out and talking to the nonprofit saying what can we do as the community foundation we are supposed to part of our mission statement if you will um, is to be a resource for nonprofits and that that was the biggest thing that I heard you know we're struggling to keep the lights on so right. how how can you help us and obviously we have our, our grant cycles that you know that we can do you know but that's that's just a, a little bit um, so as we got thinking it's like this could be a way to truly help them get on um, the trail, mm -hmm. <laughs> cowboy talk, um, to, for them to have uh, security and stability far into the future. And when it really truly hit me, Dennis, um, and, it, and I, I know that I had been gearing up towards this, it was when I got um, or I received the invitation for the 60th um, United Way 
kickoff. Mm -hmm. And you know, I looked at that invitation and I said, 60 years, and I, and I know that each year the United Way struggles to, to reach their, their goal of, of their granting. They struggle to keep the lights on in their building and to pay staff. And uh, I said, you know, if they had started an endowed fund 60 years ago and just, you know, it's like a right. savings account, and, you know, just put a little bit in there, 60 years later, they, they would not be where they are struggling in those areas. So it, it was time, you know, time to do something and, and time to help. And, and we're not doing it so they're sustainable next year. We're doing it so this can grow and it will be there in 10 years, it will be there in 15 years, and these organizations will have a healthy, um, a healthy operational um, budget that they don't have to worry about going out and raising funds for that. So your sales job in that uh, is working. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> yes. I, I, I hope people watching saw the interview with Sarah Wilson of uh, Old yes. Abilene mm -hmm. Town. Mm -hmm. No, what's the, what's the new name? Uh, it was historic Abilene, and now it's Abilene, old Abilene Town. It's not that. It's not it that, but it's something like that. We'll think of it together. It. Dave will think okay. of it because Dave always bails me out there. I thought it uh, was But it's, it's a group who's working together yes. as a nonprofit mm -hmm. to keep old Abilene Town vital and yes. growing. Yes. This young lady's twenty something. Mm -hmm. She did the best commercial for you. Good. On Thank you, Sarah. This, on this endowment okay. of starting now Good. for the future Good. that we could have ever done. And she just looked at the camera and said, this is what we're doing. Uh, so what an opportunity. Yes. Match day will be for people who take their own needs, wrap them up and say, hey, there's $10,000 here that we can get mm -hmm. from the community foundation's right. efforts if we do a good job of asking our donors yes. core yes. for t that money today. That's right. So on March 15th, here at the community foundation, again, 418 Northwest 3rd Street, we have invited the nonprofits that are participating to actually come into this room and set up a table and have informational uh, material about their organization. Hopefully, we'll have enough that we have to you know, put it out in the front lobby. Um, and then what we do as the community foundation, we have a, you know, a sheet of paper ready and as a donor comes in, we give them the sheet of paper and they can go down and check the list and go, you know, we want 500 to go here and we want 1,000 to go here and we want 10,000 to go here. Um, and it just, it's a win-win it, and, and it, what, an, what an opportunity uh, and I just hope it goes, gr grows and um, that we can continue this every year. So let's, and, wait a minute, and okay. can I do, and, yes, and March 15th is our birthday. It's the beginning of our 20th year, so we will have birthday cake and March probably 15th balloons. March 15th is the birthday of the Community Foundation yes. of Dickinson County? Yes, it is. Wow, I didn't yes, know that. Yes, so That's kind of cool. That, I and like chocolate. Do, okay. We, Carrot uh, cake works too. <laughs> okay. But David McLean cheesecake. Oh, yeah, that would be terrific, wouldn't it? That, mm -hmm. would be, that would be wonderful. But no, we, we decided, and that's quite frankly why we decided to have Match Day on March 15th. It was a, an opportunity for us to celebrate uh, the beginning of our 20th year and for us to give a present, if you will, to these nonprofits. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. On your birthday, you're giving yes, presents instead are. of looking for them. Yes, we are. That's a good one. Um, so let's let's tag team here and, okay. and go through without holding each other to be perfect. Let's go through <laughs> some of the organizations in town that have an opportunity to be affected by this. You already said United Way. Well, we're oh, right gosh. across the street from the Arts Council. Yes, the Arts Council and the Hope Center and Great Plains Theater and Memorial Health Foundation and uh, Harrington, found, Harrington Hospital Foundation. Um, Trying to think what other ones throughout throughout the county. I think there's I think there's 20 so far on our on our list that that are participating. Um, Quality of Life Coalition is going to participate. So I don't think there's a nonprofit in our area that that didn't see um, the importance of this and say, you know what, I need to have an endowed fund here and. We're doing this, Elizabeth. Old Town Abilene. That's the Old way they okay, say yes. it. Okay. O T A. Okay, Old so Town Old Town Abilene. Abilene. They they awful. They're, they're in. They're in. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's and and we have more calling every day. So as long as they can set up their fund before uh, March fifteenth, they are they are good to go. 
Um, and again, it's just, it's just an exciting way for us as the Community Foundation to be a resource for these nonprofits because that's what we're called to do. Okay, so 2019, this isn't the only, this is the big thing. It's right here in front of us, sure. March 15th, sure. uh, match day, donate mm -hmm. day, it, mm -hmm. it's here. But you have lots of things going on we forward do. in 2019, we do. one of which I heard you speak of in front of the Conservation Land, Water, Grass uh -huh. Conservation uh -huh. District at Stirl Hall the other night. Mm -hmm. and, and that's your, your news to them, that the Community Foundation is prepared to mm -hmm. take land as an asset right. m and, and through a partnership with, with Astra Bank's Farm Management Program, mm -hmm. manage that land right. for good forever. Yes. That is not only new, but that is such a big, big, oh, big, big it's huge. opportunity it's for huge. our area. It is. Um, you know, they, you heard me say the other night that you know land is the only asset that there will be no more of, and we are flush with land in Dickinson County. Mm -hmm. um, so what an opportunity! Again, it's just another way that we can reach out to our donors and say, this is an opportunity that that we didn't quite frankly have before. We we have it now, and if this is something that that you would like to do, come in and, and speak with us. So we are we are all set and, and ready to, to go on that. So I was I haven't said this to you, but I just thought of it, so I'll say it here. Uh, we're not gonna use the name or, or I'm gonna reveal any details about it, but the, there was a little gentleman who came up to you after the conservation mm -hmm. and, 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 and just told you a quick little story mm -hmm. about his family and his land mm -hmm. and, and, and smiled and you shook hands mm -hmm. and, and, and say he said thank you and you said thank you and we we went on. Mm -hmm. This is the sales guy, okay? That man was moved yes, by what you said. Mm -hmm. This may or may not work out for him, mm -hmm. That's and it doesn't really matter about mm -hmm. that one mm -hmm. case, mm -hmm. but he heard your message. Yes, he did. So I can assure you that little gentleman that walked up wants his land managed for good forever, mm -hmm. and that stuck with mm -hmm. him. Yes. Yeah, so How it all works out for him, that will, time will tell. Sure. Yes. But he heard that message and it resonated here yes, it did. in his heart it where did. his land lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it did. So um, like I said, we are, we are ready, ready to go on that. Um, another thing that we're, we're gearing up towards or has, has opened is our scholarship uh, applications are up online. Throughout Dickinson County, the Community Foundation administers over 34 different scholarships. Um, last year, we gave over $135,000 to Dickinson County youth for higher education. And uh, what an what a opportunity. And with the, with the cost of higher education uh, increasingly going up, um, for a student to be able to uh, apply for a scholarship, uh, you know, every, every dollar helps. We, we know that as parents of kids that have gone to, off to college. Um, it's, it's imperative, I guess, that we get the information out. Um, the, the news has been disseminated to all of the high schools in Dickinson County. Again, uh, the information is up on our website. It's up on the high school's website. But we also have um, scholarships that are that are kind of geared for non-traditional students that might not have the high school counselor. The Ralph Snyder. Absolutely. Well, yes, but also, um, you know, they've maybe they've been out of school for mm -hmm. ten or fifteen years mm -hmm. and go, you know what? I'm I really want to go back to school to do this. Um, and the community foundation has some scholarships that um, can be uh, applied for as a non-traditional student. So all the requirements are there um, on our website that you know you can see if 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 you fit within the qualifications and and if you do fill out as many as you're qualified for. Do you remember our time at the state fair this year? Yes, I do. Those little boomerangs we were handing yes. out to everybody uh -huh. they and they said and we are shirts that said come, come back, back to, to Abilene, Abilene. Yes. Um, I, I I want to use you you can you can throw the kudos and the thank you out but I'm going to prompt you with that thought so you have some scholarships that are being given out full ride mm -hmm. scholarships yes. in Topeka and the family, the young gentleman, Mr. Canfield, yes, is Canfield. a boomerang. Yes. Even though he doesn't live here, he is sending part of what he Absolutely. took from here, Absolutely. his life, his learning, and he's sending back Absolutely. his earnings yes. to Abilene. Yes, so other people can 
take the path that he walked. And Absolutely. if that's not a boomerang oh. that's coming back to Adelaine, I don't know what is. It, it's, it's a, what an amazing opportunity that Jordan Canfield has presented to the Community Foundation, you know, a full ride to, to Washburn. Washburn University, amazing. We also have the Knowles Scholarship, mm -hmm. full ride to Fort Hayes University. Same uh, thing, uh, same. It, it's, you know, Joe Knoll and it, life. It's amazing, June. absolutely. Mm -hmm. June and Joe, I'm sorry, June and Joe Knoll that, that saw the importance of higher education and wanted to give back to their community. And this is the yeah. way they have chosen, chosen to do it through the Community Foundation of Dickinson County. And again, we have scholarships, and I think I told you before, we have everything from HVAC to you could major in zoology mm -hmm. and everything, everything in between. And um, again, an opportunity that, that should not be missed. So parents, it, urge your kids to go online at communityfoundation.us and apply for these scholarships. Because I live with you. Yes, you do. I know that you have recently enhanced your website to be able to serve mm -hmm. those scholarship needs <laughs> so people can go on that mm -hmm. and, and fill out the application mm -hmm. and it forwards to you mm -hmm. and starts the process. Mm -hmm. So good customer service always tries to make things easier for people That's and not right. harder. That's right. That's a way easier for people to do. They just have to know <laughs> they can go look. Yes, yes, again, communityfoundation.us. Um, the the ability you know especially for these young kids mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know to do everything electronically and and that was that was part of the the reasoning why we wanted to do that because this is where the kids are at um, but also whoops also quite frankly to to eliminate our costs um, you know we were these scholarships that came in and and we have um, five or six review teams that come in and they needed copies of all these scholarships and when I saw that last year I just said holy moly uh, that's a that's a lot of paper um, that's a that's a huge cost and a lot of work and a lot of work a lot and of man hours yes um, and and so it just you know got my wheels going it's like I think there's a way that we can do this better, smarter, cheaper, um, that, that will benefit not only the student, but benefit the community foundation as well. So we are, we are trying this out. We, you know, we did our grant cycle last fall, the first time online, and the, the, grant, uh, the, the grant applicants loved it. Um, the grant review team loved it. And um, so we're, we're rolling it out with, with the scholarships. And we have a, um, a learn, learn, it's not really lunch and learn, but I guess it kind of is. Sorry, Julie, we're, we're stealing your name. Um, the scholarship committees are going to come in on March 11th, and we're going to go over all of the details so, so they feel comfortable with, with what they're doing. And if there's a, you know, a few members that want stuff printed out, we'll certainly be amenable to that. But you know, we're trying to, trying to go green, uh, which is you know, great for our um, ecology in our in our community and um, to cost savings everybody loves saving paper absolutely uh, it's absolutely the thing we do so um, people you've been here a year a year I just celebrated my my year anniversary so thank you Patty Mayhew who remembered because I didn't <laughs> let, let me ask you um, what has the effect been on you as a person by the people you have met and Gosh. served through the Community wow, that's Foundation. A, that's a, that, you know, I, I stand amazed, again, of the generosity of the people in Dickinson County. Um, their, their heart is here in Dickinson County, and um, they, they just pour out themselves um, into our county. And I guess you know to to interact with with our donors and and to see the the generosity that that is here and how important our little um, neck of the woods is in Dickinson County. How important it is to to area residents, some who have been here their whole life, and Dickinson County has been very good to them, uh, not only with raising their family but. Um, financially, and they want to give back. We have others that have have come here in the in the recent years and have just been um, embraced by the the communities in Dickinson County, and now they're calling it home. 
and they want to give back. So uh, it is. It's um, it's just the the generosity of of our of our donors. That it's it astounds me. It truly truly astounds me. What I see from the outside, I'm asking you, is this indeed true? I, I look at uh, your board's mm -hmm. meetings, and you come home and you talk about that. I, I see from standing way off to the side that you have a very engaged, highly motivated board. Oh, I do. Eager to I help. I do, I do. What, uh, a, it's, it's what a, a blessing yes, it is. that must be. Yes, it, and I have a huge board. So we have, you know, we have a board of, of 20. Um, so it fills up this room. We're kind of, <laughs> they get a little close on board meeting day. Um, but they are out working um, for the Community Foundation and they are talking to people about it. And um, I, I could not be more proud of the board of the Community Foundation of Dickinson County. They are amazing people. All right, Elizabeth. Uh, Dave gave me the big two. He did, he did. So, and you saw it. That's good because you're the camera pro. <laughs> You know what that means. Yeah, I do. So thank you for letting us come, bring the camera, talk about the Community Foundation in Dickinson County, March 15th, yes. Donate Match Day, yes. big thing yes. for other local nonprofits. Yes. They're yes. engaged if they're not getting engaged. Yes. Uh, lots of good things coming in 2019 yes. for you, for us, for Abilene. Yes. Um, it all depends on cooperation, does it not? It, it does, and the more people communicate and, and cooperate, the better and stronger we are as a community and as a county. All right, that's, we'll end with that little yeah. comment. I appreciate you taking your time to watch today. We'd love to have your help in any way you can to, to collaborate and grow with us in Dickinson County. Absolutely. The Community Foundation would love to see you. I'm Dennis Weiss. I work for Eagle Communication. Elizabeth Weiss, Executive Director of the Community Foundation of Dickinson County. Have a great day.